stuck with a long stemmed nappy lock tool? No problem, I'm about to show you how to shorten it. Hey y'all, welcome back to Y2K Diva Locks. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to modify your long stemmed nappy lock tools. So I'm going to make your long stems look like this. So here it is the tool. So I was able to make a nice smooth tool and I'm about to show you now. So get out your jewelry kit, your jewelry tools. And if you don't have jewelry tools, trust me, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to stunt on y'all. I actually got this jewelry toolkit for $5 at Walmart in the clearance aisle. So actually, you can just use a toenail clipper. It works just as easy, probably more efficient. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to stunt on with the tool. I had previously used a tool. I bent it, but it was still a little bit too long. So now I'm going to straighten out the bend a little bit. I'm going to, there it is. And then I'm going to just get a pair of pliers that came with the jewelry tool. And I'm going to snip the end. I already approximated how long I wanted my stem. Nice clean cut. Again, you can use a toenail clipper. And then I'm just going to slightly curve it. There's the curve. I'm going to use two buffer, um, what are these? They're called buffer, um, <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. They're, they're buffer blocks, yes, so buffer blocks. And it has four different sides to it. And this is what I'm going to use to kind of buff it down. So I'm going to use the green side. And I'm just trying to smooth the end so it doesn't uh, snag my hair. And this is a process, it's going to take you a little bit of time. It took me, you know, less than a minute, but a minute seems like a long time when you're just trying to file down and smooth and smooth and file and smooth. So, but that's what I'm doing right now. Just kind of smoothing it in. Make sure that you get all the sides, all the directions. And then now I'm going to the number two, the little smooth side, and I'm just smoothing down that rough edge so here we go mm -hmm. just smoothing it down and it's it's getting there so i'm just going to continue on you want to make sure you want to get the sides the top the other sides and now i'm going to buff it and this is going to help um achieve a little more smoother look and I fast forward it just so you wouldn't have to sit through that and then it's it is quite smooth right now as you can see you can see the smooth uh yeah that looks really nice y'all could see the smooth um tip and yeah that looks that looks really good but I just want it ultra smooth I want it to be able to glide through my locks when I am interlocking so there it is. I'm buffing it out, all the edges. I just want to make it seamless. And so now I'm going to shine it, the number four. And there I go. There I go. There I go again. What's my weakness? Men. No, just, just kidding. Salt and pepper completely gone awry. But, um... <laughs> But there it is. <laughs> that was whack. So here we go. It's smooth. You actually can see the see the bulb. You can see the roundness of it. Spent a little bit of time with this. Of course, it only took me less than 10, definitely less than 10 minutes, probably less than five. So there it is. Nice, smooth. And I'm really happy with this. And right now, because I have the micro locks, they're not super micro, but they're micro enough, I am adjusting the end of my nappy lock tool so that it can hold my hair when I'm pulling the tool through my locks. There it is. And this is the finished product. You see the slight bend? 
this uh, curve. And it's it's good. I'm happy with it. So let's just put it to test. There we go. Nice and smooth. And I was saying in my previous videos that my hair, well, actually my hair has grown. Um, it has really grown. But here I'm able to get down to the root. I'm able to interlock and I use the two point rotation. I'm really able to interlock down to my root and I really like that. And remember when I was using the pro the, pro the pliers to kind of tighten the ends, this is why, you know, so that it can hold on to my hair. And see how close I can get? I, ab I absolutely love it. So if you do have the nappy lock tool, don't try and send it back. Don't just put it in a drawer. Just modify it. Again, use some toenail clippers or pliers and clip it and uh, you'll be good to go. You'll definitely be good to go. And as my hair get grows out and gets thicker, I will do the same thing with the other tools because I got three nappy lock tools that came in my kit. So I will be modifying those. I might leave one because you got to save one for when my hair completely grows out. But you see how it caught those baby hairs? I want to thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.